Hey folks, Matt from IreLyImage.com. We've got Muhammad writing in, and he's got some lens questions. He's a Canon 750D. He says it comes with an 18-55 to lens, and he has already bought a Sigma 17-50 to lens. He says, I need to buy an extra lens. What should I buy? So thanks for your question, Muhammad. Um, kind of would need a little bit more information as to what you want to shoot, what, your, what your, your likings and leanings are here as far as what lens you should buy. Um, but I'll see if I can flush that out a little bit for you. Um, I always recommend people get into, uh, when they're starting to build their lens catalogs, to try out a 50 mil. The Nifty 50s are awesome, and people love them, as I do, for a reason. They're very inexpensive, but very high-performing. You get great value for your money. In your situation, the Canon 50 mil F1.8 STM lens would be the way to go. They're about $125 US new. You can't beat that. It gives you a very fast lens, F1.8. That gives you a lens that will work very well in low light. It gives you uh, what is very close to a, a traditional portrait lens, an 85 mil, because a 50 on a crop sensor body is a field of view of about, well, on the Canons is 1.6, so it's a little bit closer to 80. So that's why we like them, why I like them for portraits. The fast speed of the lens not only helps you in low light, but it gives you the ability to separate your background because of the shallow depth of field you can get from a faster lens. So... That's one of the first lenses I would recommend that I recommend to anybody to get when they're looking to expand out from kit lenses. It doesn't sound like you have a long lens. Maybe what you're looking for is a longer zoom for situations where you might want to be, you know, if you're at a zoo and you want to take pictures of the animals, if you're out and about and you want to zoom in on, on a subject, wildlife, sports, you know, all the reasons we would use a longer zoom. Um, an inexpensive good option there on the Canon side is the 55 to 250. It's a very inexpensive lens. It's a good performing lens for the money. Not the best out there, but it's it's quite a good value for the money. It's a very capable lens of t- capable of taking good photos for a very reasonable price. If you wanted something a little more high end than that, then perhaps look at the Canon 70 to 200 f/4L. Um, smaller and lighter than its f/2.8 cousin. Less expensive as well, but arguably even sharper than its f2.8 cousin, Um, smaller, lighter, and very, very good quality. We're talking you're into L lenses now, although that is more expensive, so you're looking at something that's not a budget lens. If you're wanting something wide, if landscapes are your thing or you're shooting indoors a lot, if you're shooting architecture type stuff, um, then the Canon uh, 10 to 18 STM. It's a beautiful little lens. It's an ultra-wide Gives you a opens up a whole new world for wide field of view that you haven't had with the lenses you currently have. So that may be an option too. It's actually not a very bad price at all. It's uh, you can usually get them for around two hundred or so. I'll put a link below to all these lenses. You can check them out. Those are the ones I would recommend um, if you're looking at an extra lens. Those are the ones I would recommend and why. So you know, depending on what you want to shoot, one of those lenses should help you out. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Is there another lens you'd recommend? Uh, Leave your suggestions in the comments below. What would you do and why? Let's help out Muhammad. Thank you for your question, Muhammad, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.